Later, Dan Kohler has the science of preventing and getting rid of fruit flies. Welcome back, everybody. We are back with Matt discussing how he lost 25 pounds in just eight weeks. That is amazing. I want to show you a picture of what Matt looked like just eight weeks ago. Take a look Ouch. at this. Oh, no, it's amazing. No. That oh, my God. Did you oh, call me it, fat? It, no. <laughs> By the way, that's Kim's line. Exactly. That's what she looked like yeah. eight weeks ago, oh, and this God. is what you look like now. I mean, it, look at that, Matt. Wow. That's impressive. Yes. Yeah, that's not even a joke. You did. And the man you used to be. <laughs> Shadow. That's also joining says. us is his doctor, <laughs> nice, and the best-selling author of Goodbye Lupus, uh, Brooke Goldner. Thank you so much for joining us, Brooke. So, Matt, when did you decide that it was time for you to make a change in your diet? So, I've talked about my issues here, and I knew it was time for me to make a change in my diet when people confuse me with Matt Rogers. At that point. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, so okay, what so happened like is I told my story at the end of Celebrity Apprentice about battling rheumatoid arthritis. And a guy reaches out to me who's become this nutritional crusader and he said, you have to meet Brooke Goldner. She will change your life. And this, he, he met me and that night I'd eaten two plates of, of chicken fingers, had a, a turtle cookie and a couple sugar-free Red Bulls. And I was like, I think I may be ready for a change because you, I just had surgery on my foot in December for right. my rheumatoid arthritis and I'd gained some weight because I wasn't working out. And honestly- I mean, you were hardly moving. I wasn't really, really moving and I just realized I needed to kind of take control of my life. And when she told me her story and what, nutrition could do for me, I was hooked. Okay, so what did you change? What does your typical diet look like now? So w right now I'm in kind of this control phase because I am susceptible to inflammation. So I'm largely, I am raw vegan. And I think yes! this, this is my, <laughs> I'm so, so, so excited. So this is my awesome. cooler where I've already got, I've had this, this, and this of smoothie already no this way. morning. Right. Um, which was largely made of kale and frozen fruit and omega-3 flax seeds for yeah. anti-inflammatory properties. So you've been on a strictly liquid diet? Well, listen, I'm not perfect, but I've largely been, no, and I've been doing nuts and carrots, guacamole, but it's really been largely with these smoothies. And it's been amazing. I didn't set out to lose weight. I set out to really combat my rheumatoid arthritis and losing weight was just kind of the same. Because the whole idea was that you wanted to reduce the inflammation in your So body, that's it. This, this is... That's what this is all about is I'm someone who has inflammation and she battled it as well with lupus. And when she told me her story about how she changed her life and changed her disease, the course of her disease with diet. So Dr. Brooke, you, you're honestly like a medical phenomenon. Or, or maybe not, maybe it is just the food, you know? We're all, we're all gonna be converts by the end of this. You uh, decided that you were gonna go on this sort of diet to get into your wedding dress. Mm -hmm. You were suffering with lupus. Right. You had had a stroke. You were told you could never have children. What? So many different medical and health problems, so many issues. You went on this just to get into your wedding dress. And the side effect was that you almost had no symptoms of lupus anymore. Explain this. Not just almost. So when I was diagnosed at 16, I was already in stage four kidney failure. They gave me six months to live unless I did chemo for two years. So I mean, I'd been sick since I was 16. And by the age of 28, I'd already had um, multiple uh, TIA in my brain. Uh, I, I didn't know how much longer What's I had TIA? a TIA mini stroke. Okay. In medical school. Uh, and so, you know, I didn't know how much longer I had to live. And so I just focused on, well, I'll just make my life mean something. I'll go to medical school, try to help people and see, you know, for whatever life I can live. And when I met a man who actually wanted to marry a sick girl and take care of her, um, my husband knew that I couldn't have his children and he wanted to marry me anyway and said he'd rather spend a short time with me than a lifetime with someone else. Oh, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> and I know, right? Oh. And then, <laughs> that's my husband. Yeah, so uh, I changed my diet to this hyper nourishing plant based diet purely to look hot. I was just vanity. Within three and a half months, I went from a size 11 to a size 3. And, uh, and I had zero symptoms of lupus. In fact, I was an intern working 30 hour shifts. I could work 30 hour shifts, then go to the gym and had zero arthritis, tons of energy, felt amazing. And went to get my blood test before my wedding and they were negative for lupus, which is supposed to be impossible. Wow. Yeah, not only that, obviously we see from these photos, yeah. 
have two beautiful children, so After, that was not the case either. So now it's been actually 12 years since I've had lupus, and I've been completely healthy, um, able to have children, and easily can maintain low body fat and fitness without really having to work out much. Everybody here, uh, yeah. they brought in some kale. This is fabulous. This is fabulous. Oh, you look at this. Dr. Brooke, everyone feels like kale just has the best PR department. <laughs> yeah, we all feel like, wow. like maybe kale got a good publicist, but why yeah. kale? It's not just kale. Well, it's not just kale. The thing is, you know, we've spent a lot of time focusing on the wrong thing. Something called macronutrients, protein, carbs, fats. That really has very little to do with how fast your metabolism or how healthy you are, which is really the same thing. What we really need to focus on is micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. So if you want to get the most bang for your buck, it's greens. So kale, spinach, broccoli. When you're trying to heal or get your metabolism really fast, really quickly, you focus on the greens because they work the best. I have two, two Vitamix blenders. I'll put a pound of kale in each, smash it in, mm -hmm. I'll put omega-3s in there, some chia and flax seeds, and then frozen fruit on top, water or almond milk. And yeah, I, I was I shocked because say. I questioned this with working out and all that, but your husband's a trainer, and the amount of protein yeah. in honey oh, yeah. was huge. Yeah, you gotta love it. So wait, there, there's a lot of protein in this? <laughs> Absolutely. You can get all the protein you need literally from eating plant foods. That's, that's where the animals get it. The most muscular animals on the planet. You think of an ox, you think of a gorilla, they're eating leaves all day. Elephant. That's and a gorilla. Gorilla. Greens, gorilla. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you are not a silverback gorilla, my <laughs> no. friend. But will you continue on this diet? Look, the vanity is a nice part. It's nice having everyone tell me I look better, but I feel better. And I think that's going to be the biggest test is I'm actually going to get some blood work done and see how my RA is doing. But I can already say I've lasted literally... <laughs> I thought it would be a day. It's been two months. Right. It's helped change my life. And so. you know what, Dr. Brooke, thank you so much. That's amazing what, right. what you've really managed to do. My mom is marveling that anyone got me to eat kale. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Matt, your favorite thing in the world was burgers. Oh, my God. So guess what? We have a treat for you. What? You haven't eaten a burger in two months. Yes. But up next, America's Test Kitchen, Jack Bishop, is making you the best vegan burger you may have ever eaten mm. in your life. Come on back. And Matt, before that burger, you got to do a taste test. I'm putting you to work.